farming them up at all. But once I get some more, it'll it'll be good times. All right, I'll talk to these guys. We'll see what they have to say. He's just saying that the other two boats were messed up, and it'll be a while before they can repair them. And basically, along with all things in the village, the more things pop up, the more key quests you do. And so let's go make that hammer. Because I'm kind of really not feeling the current hammer I have. Hopefully I can upgrade this. Because that's, that's some pretty terrible sharpness. Oh great, bone hammer plus. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that till I get the f to the flooded forest. I'll definitely go down the bone bludgeon side though. As for now, this this bone hammer will do just fine. All right, so we, they just want some more resources in order to make a mushroom farm, which is fine by me. I am completely okay with that. Okay, so this is going to be an urgent quest, and these quests come up after you've completed a certain number of the key quests. I wonder if I should go straight into that. I mean, I kind of want to go through all of the quests. I've been doing that already. And if any of you find any particular quests unenjoyable to watch, I mean, I guess there's nothing to stop you from just skipping that particular, that particular quest. As is, I still have red coral stone to do, and I'll just, I'll go ahead and I'll do that, whatever. Because this is actually a really great place I can talk a little bit about broken pearls. I think they're broken pearls. There's some items you need in order to make what they're called crystal weapons, and this quest here has a... a it's a low chance, but it does have a chance in order to pick up the things that you need. I think they're I think they're black pearls. And all you really need are rations and I, I just I keep getting the paintballs because you can make them or you can just keep taking them. And I'd rather just take them to save myself the time of having to make them later on. If you have really terrible aim like I do sometimes, it's nice to have a little store of paintballs. Let's just double check to see how many we need. We only we need eight coral stones. There's a subquest here to slay eight sharks, or was it three sharks? If you get later on in the game, and I'll, I'll be demonstrating this, but if you're already later on in the game and you're having a tough time with one of the villager requests, that's saying you need shark skin, just do this quest because sharks show up all the time. They're right here. And as for finishing up this quest, this will be pretty quick because, you know, gathering plus two plus speed gather, I mean, it'll be no problem. And the main drop this time is actually red coral stones. See, I don't think it's broken shell that we want. It's, uh, it's the black pearl, I believe. Stones are nice. Do not throw them. Do not sell them. You want to combine them with, I think it's ivy? Sap plants. Stones and sap plants or iron ore and sap plants will make bomb material. Which is a, a fairly useful item to have because you just combine it with so many different things. You can combine it with flash bugs and make flash bangs. You can combine it with screamers and make sonic bombs. And those are the big two. And the great thing about this game, as opposed to other games, is you can actually farm flash bugs. Let's just double check. How many do I have? Six. Unfortunately, now you you need thunder bugs for a whole bunch of things. But still, I mean, you know, any improvement is some improvement. It used to be in Monster Hunter Unite, there would be this random peddler 
that would sell all of the rare items you would ever need. And while there is a random peddler online, it sh he shows up fairly rarely. He only shows up for a certain event. Whenever a big monster comes into town online, he shows up. So I wonder what would be the fastest way. I bet, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and show the area that you can climb, if I can find it. Because I think that actually might be faster than swimming through all those different areas. At the very least, it'll be about the same. Yeah, so I didn't actually know about this for quite a while. This was actually the last shortcut I, I discovered. And then you just run right on over here. Stumble a little bit. Monsters can actually knock you off of the cliff. It happens very rarely. It usually happens online. But you'll be over in that corner and Raytheon or, or Rathalos will charge you and then they'll start spinning. And when they start spinning, it's, it's game over, man. You don't get hurt, of course, but, you know. It's pretty annoying when you get knocked into Area 5 and you have to, like, run all the way back up to Area 8. How long did that take? Four minutes? That's not bad. The hammer's really fun. Oh wow, Mashalite Ore and Armor Spheres. That's not bad. That is not bad. I mean, you get a pretty pretty decent store of that stuff as you go through the game just because you get them as quest rewards. But at least starting off, I mean, really anything you get is good because in the beginning you're really just starved for money. Okay, now we're working on the Urgent Quest. And we just have to beat ourselves up. Six Ludroths. Which, with this weapon, should really take no time at all. They give some pretty good items, too. I mean, if you really want to upgrade your weapons immediately, fighting Ludroths is a decent way to do it. I might need that whetstone, I'm not sure. I'm just going to assume that I do. Fortunately for the hammer, it's one of the few weapons with the ability to attack and not bounce on a monster, even if it's at red sharpness. As long as you're doing the super pound, you'll go right through. Yeah, so I don't know whether the best place to fight them... I'll probably be able to finish them all off in Area 11, probably be between Area 10 and 11, but I know they spawn a whole ton in Area 12. And Area 12, of course, is a place where, it's a good place to go in mine. It has a little ore deposit of Mashalite ore. Like, who's this guy? Is like late to the party. Come on, guys. Get it together. It's actually three in one spot. Do I actually get to fight all three at once? That is actually kind of exciting. For all intents and purposes, I'm still basically naked. I mean, this... I think it's got one armor. Yeah. One defense per spot. I have to be careful of their uh, spit. It'll give you water blight. See if I can hit them both. No, just one. Let's see if I can hit with, uh, yeah, the, the golf swing used to be pretty much the most powerful weapon in the series. It's been toned down a little bit since Unite. But you know what? It's still, like, really good. So no worries there. 
All right, now I just gotta find myself three more. And I guess the nice thing about hunt quests, it, it balances itself out. When you do gathering quests, you you have to run back to the camp, but then you only have to wait 20 seconds. With hunting quests, even after you kill the monster, you have to wait a full minute. Which isn't, I mean, I guess it's not all bad. It gives you time to do get your carves in or do a little extra mining, which I will probably do. But aside from that, it's just an annoyance, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's one, two, three in here. That jerk. Oh, yeah. You can, uh, these guys actually have heads. A lot of the smaller monsters, you can hit them anywhere, and they'll get knocked out. And I really prefer the, the Super Pound underwater. You're having a tough time hitting anything. Oh wow, I think I just barely... Pretty sure I hit him with that. There we go. Done and done. Well, let's get my carves in. I feel kind of weird. I, I got the bundle for this game. I got the, the full bundle on, actually, pre-release. I got it the New York uh, release event. But it, it has these extra large, like, ZR and ZL buttons, and all they do is this. Swim up, or swim down, and swim up. Like, extra huge buttons, like, really easy to press, really comfortable, but you use them basically never. <laughs> and actually there was a event there a little competition they had going on in the arena where whoever would win in the arena would get a t-shirt and a little uh, decal kit for their Wii remote and I went with a friend and the very first time we, we went in, we both went with hammers, we did okay, and it was the very first round, and we lost by one second. Was devastating. However, we, we went back later. Uh, there were actually, it wasn't that huge of a crowd there, and we were able to, to win the second time. We did really well the second time. But the, the funny thing is that I've actually recorded a time, it's up on YouTube, of uh, me soloing Great Jaggy with a lance even faster than I did the, the co-op time together. And my friend got real mad at me. Okay, so here's two, two new characters. It's going to be the cook and the captain. And they're both uh, fairly helpful. So I'll, I'll go through this talk a little slow because you may actually want to read this. But the captain is great. He, he really provides a whole, a whole ton of items and even weapon recipes that you really wouldn't be able to get otherwise. You know, we're not going to read the explanation. Basically, you get commodities, you get points, you trade for it. Or when you go into the Moga Forest and you fight big monsters, you can get rare commodities. You see here, I can trade some curved fangs and maybe get a fish finder. Oops, no, I do not want to offer the fossil piece. I'll offer more curved fangs. See, just like that, deal. Got myself a fish finder. Done. And this is the cook, who is quite helpful. He gets, uh, he offers you all sorts of meals you can do. You eat them, you get boosts to your health.